What's up everyone? This is Totally Randy. I'm back here with another video. If you haven't already, subscribe and join the family. Alright, so remember some recent news. You know how I was talking about AJ McCarron and all this stuff that maybe he'll go here, maybe he'll go here. Obviously he's not going anywhere. As of right now, he's not going anywhere. He looked like he was one of the popular targets on the market, but obviously not. And this whole thing is going downhill for him. All my predictions were off. I thought maybe the Cardinals would sign him. Everyone kept thinking the Browns would sign him. The Browns didn't sign him. Uh, instead, they signed Tyrod Taylor. The Cardinals didn't sign him. They signed a guy who's going to get injured next season after one or two games because his offensive line will not be able to protect him, obviously. And he's, he's the worst quarterback. He's not won a single thing his whole NFL career, and somehow he's getting paid. And you guys know I'm talking about Sam Bradford. He's not won a thing, and he's getting paid so much money. Um, and then, as you know, the Bills, obviously, they're not going after. They're going after a quarterback in the draft, but yeah. And then, you know, what's happened. The Jets are reportedly going after Teddy Bridgewater, and they're going to draft a QB. Um, same with the Browns. Um, Broncos, they got Case Keenum. They're probably going to take a quarterback in the draft. Um, and then we don't know what else has happened. But Age uh, McCarron, obviously, he's not going to any of these teams unless the Bills suddenly decide. But right now, reports are coming in that New England reportedly offered a contract to Age and McCarron to serve as Tom Brady's backup. And as you know, Tom Brady plans to play till he's 45. But um, I don't think he can play till he's 45, to be honest. Like, he, but the thing is, it's kind of fun. It's all ironic how this thing's working out. I was literally thinking one time, a couple, like maybe a couple weeks ago, I was thinking it'd be cool if he'd actually go and be Tom Brady's like successor eventually because he's been with Nick Saban. He's been with the GOAT of college football. Now he's going to be with the GOAT of the NFL. It would make sense. Like he's, he got to play under there. He's maybe Tom Brady. He'll eventually take, I can see him easily taking over and becoming the next um, quarterback. Uh, but I don't know. But Nate, as you know, reportedly, they're offered a contract, apparently, to A.J. McCarron. Um, people are saying, could Nick Saban, because Nick Saban's best friend is friends with Bill Belichick because they were both um, coached together. Um, they're, they're really close. So they're saying maybe it's, he told Bill Belichick, hey, this guy could probably easily replace Tom Brady. Um, I don't think Tom Brady could I really don't want Tom Brady to just keep playing. I mean, dude, the dude... Uh, that dude is just old, bro. I mean, there's a point coming when, okay, if you're in your 40s and you're still playing the sport, that shows that you don't have to do much physically to do, I mean, yeah, arm strength, but that's, that's not difficult to keep your arm strength going, but physically wise, he doesn't have to run or do anything. And obviously, in my opinion, I already, they pretty much can do the same thing. People know that Tom Brady's a system QB. If he goes to another team, he probably won't have the same success. Hey, um, so AJ McCarron would easily fit in, but, um, yeah. So, um... So, as I said, it seems that they're prepared to offer him. Um, I, if I was A.J. McCarron, I'd take it right now because at this point, what else do you have? Um, do you want to be with the Bengals? Maybe they'll offer you another contract or two. I don't know. Because they know you're a great backup. You can easily come and go. Obviously, they know you're better than Andy <laughs> Dalton. Anyone with common sense knows you're better than Andy Dalton. But, you know, they'll never play you because they're happy with being a mediocre team. Okay? And, um. Uh, so why not go and play with the best? Go play with Tom Brady. Go play with Bill Belichick. You'd fit into the system. It's exactly like how you were at Alabama. Bill Belichick is the greatest coach of all time. You'd fit in because you were with this type of, same type of mentality guy under Nick Saban. So you'd fit in. You'd eventually probably become the starter because Tom Brady, we know, he's not going to play forever. And obviously, okay, he says he wants to play until he's 45. But oh, that dude cannot play until he's 45, man. If I was Bill Belichick, I would start saying, hey, man. Like, it's becoming too much. I can't per – the offense – there's so much the offensive line can do because if Tom Brady takes a hit, he's 40 years old, man. He's going to break something. Your, your body's not designed at that point to take that much of a hit. But what you can do is help groom AJ McCarron to eventually become your successor, which is something I think that the – Tom um, what the Patriots are actually thinking about. And I think it's perfectly – this is perfect. I think this is perfect. I think he actually should sign – Um, and – um slowly start shifting into McCarron being the guy for the next, what, 10 years? Because he's only, like, 27, so he's got time. But, um, say, if he does stay until he's 45, that's – Adrian McCarron will be 32, but he's still fine. Adrian McCarron can still go on and still be the starter for however many years. But anyway, that's all I have for right now. It's – I'm just – I'm kind of disappointed, but like I said, it's also could be good. I hope he takes this contract. This is reporting. I don't know if it's official yet, but I hope he takes this contract – um, joins. He's gonna be with the goat. He's gonna learn from the best. He can potentially become a great QB once Tom Brady leaves and retires. Uh, so yeah. 
So you guys post comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you think AJ McCarron should take this contract or what do you think? Do you think he deserves it? I honestly think he deserves to have gone somewhere else. But if this is it, I mean, this is still a great opportunity for him. I think he should sign it. I don't know who would want to sit under Andy Dalton and just not play because they are happy with being mediocre. Um, so I said I would take it. So you guys, post comments below. Tell me what you think. Um, if you haven't already, subscribed. Like this video. Share this video. Um, most importantly, subscribe. The more subscribers, the better. And I'll get back to you with another video soon. So peace out. <laughs>